Giant pandas are well known for feeding almost exclusively on bamboo, but their diet is far from simple. Over 60 types of bamboos are reportedly eaten, as well as several other plants and even animals. And because they're difficult to observe in the wild and telling bamboos apart is challenging, we don't actually know that much about what they're eating. My name is Dr Linda Neves and I'm part of a project led by Royal Botanic Gardens Edinburgh to work out which species are important foods for giant panda using their poo. Panda poo contains the remains of everything that panda has eaten and we look at the DNA, that's the code that defines every living thing, to identify all of those foods. By doing this, we hope to learn more about pandas' reliance on bamboo and how best to conserve and restore their habitat. The mountains of Sichuan province in China, where most of the wild giant panda live, are spectacular and home to a wide variety of plants and animals. But this amazing habitat doesn't make field work and finding panda poo easy. This year, I've spent over six weeks climbing these mountains, often reaching altitudes well over 3,000 metres, negotiating almost impenetrable bamboo thickets, steep, slippery mountainsides, and a few interesting river crossings. Some days, the dense bamboo is a welcome change because at least it gives you something to hold while you're climbing the slippery near-vertical slopes. It had been over three weeks of field work, and we had found evidence of giant pandas in the area, but no sign of any poo. Our time was never wasted, though, because we recorded and collected the many bamboos present in giant panda habitat. Back in the lab, we'll use the DNA from these samples as a reference to identify the species in the DNA from the panda faecal samples, as well as to help us understand more about the bamboos that pandas rely on. With only about 10 days of field work left, on a mountainside a little over 3,000 metres, we found it. By the end of that day, we collected six samples, and with help from our Chinese partners, we have since been able to locate many more. Now, there will be many months of hard work in the lab to examine the DNA sequence from both the bamboo reference samples and the giant panda poo to find out exactly what giant panda are feeding on.